Welcome to the 100% shiny ghost type Pokemon location video where we'll be using shiny sandwiches to get yourself shiny ghost Pokemon. If you're looking for any Pokemon typing in the Teal Mask DLC, I have a complete playlist for that as well as for all the Pokemon shiny locations in Scarlet and Violet. Let's get into it. Before we get hunting, make sure to go to your system settings, go all the way down to system, scroll down to the zoom button and make sure to have that on. That way, when you are in the shiny hunting area, you can double tap home to make sure that you don't miss out on a hard to see shiny. Obviously, the ones in front of me are pretty easy, but that's pretty much something you're going to want to use as a strategy. So for the ghost sandwich, I'm going to be using one red onion and then two salty herba mysticas. Of course, there are other recipes and someone can list out an alternate recipe down in the comments below and everyone can like that one. Make sure you have sparkling power ghost level three and encounter power ghost level three. Usually sometimes can change if you mess up an ingredient on the sandwich. So the first Pokemon that we're going to be hunting is going to be Poltergeist. And in order to hunt this Pokemon, you're just going to have to exit to the right of Masui Town. Now, I wish I can tell you it's simply just a walk out of town spawn, but it's not. So we're going to have to head to the area. So follow me up on Revelers Road, and we're going to be looking for specific trees that just look like this, like little, little bamboo trees. And this is where you'll have all the poltergeist spawn. So you'll find this all over the road if you continue going down straight. Uh, but pretty much you just need to be in one spot where these bamboo trees are and make your life easier. Now, uh, you'll find them over here, and you want to focus on these spots only during the day. At nighttime, other ghost Pokemon will spawn, making this a lot harder. Now, there are all also two forms for poltergeist the authentic form and the non-authentic form and you can determine that based on the bottom of it now since they're so small the color change is going to be a little annoying to notice so if you're very confused or you want to make sure to see what exactly it is you can do the double home zoom in trick to see if it has that green color on the outside to distinguish the shiny luckily for us all the poltergeists usually come towards you so you can kind of zoom in and see they never rush you to start a battle but they do all close in on you so another technique you you can do is auto battling them to get new spawns um that's just one way of doing it just leave the auto battle on another thing that you can do is completely walk away from the area where all the pokemon then despawn in that section and then head back to that section and they will all respawn back so that's like the running technique for these pokemon uh if you don't want to run around you can also do the picnic reset method so you see a bunch of them pretty much you do your zoom in trick you make sure none of them are the shiny color and once you determine that you're just going to open up your main menu, make sure you're off your Pokemon, and then hit the picnic, and then you'll see all the Pokemon around you despawn. Once they completely despawn, you can just close your picnic immediately, and then you'll get completely different spawns. So I think picnic resetting beats running. Uh, that's totally up to you, <laughs> whatever you want to do, but that is a safe way to get new spawns in for Poltergeist. So that's pretty much how to do it, and there it is. Shiny Poltergeist, just like that. See that? It's so easy to get shinies. Make sure to subscribe so you can have that luck, and also know when our next shiny hunting video is going to be. The next Pokemon that we're going to be going for is going to be Mimikyu. Now, Mimikyu is going to be located right over here in the Infernal Pass area, and you specifically want to come here during the daytime. The daytime is when Mimikyus will spawn all over this entire area, and the cool part is this is a way better shiny hunting spot than it is in the base game in Scarlet and Violet in Paldea. So, way better. Just Mimikyus are like the only thing that spawns here during the day, so you'll have a lot of fun hunting it. Now, all you have to do is simply just look for the black and white Mimikyu, which will be completely different from all the other ones that are spawning. Now, something to keep in mind is that these are all solo spawns for Mimikyu, so if you run too fast, you might glitch out one of them while going forward, and it might not spawn in. So just make sure you're rotating your camera, you're moving slowly, and looking around as a shiny one can pop up anytime. So you can continue going up this entire area in the Infernal Pass, and you should be getting Mimikyus everywhere. You can probably pick a spot where you want to go, and then walk back after a certain amount of Mimikyu have shown up and they despawn behind you. So for example, a bunch of them have despawned behind me and now I'm going to just head back. So I kind of have a pathway of going back and forth. So something really cool is that you'll have Mimikyu to hunt during the day and at nighttime in this area, you'll have something else to hunt. So let's get into that. At nighttime in the Infernal Pass, the spawn from Mimikyu is actually going to be changing into Dust Skull. Yep, a completely different Pokemon in this area at night. So basically, you can hang out here during the 
day and hunt Mimikyu, but at nighttime, you could start to hunt Duskull. Now, this shiny is going to be really easy to spot. Hopefully, it just doesn't disappear into like a red dot because they keep going in and out, but you're going to be looking for a red shiny. Um, and it seems to be that there's more Duskull spawning in here uh, than usual. Like, there are a lot of them. Two techniques that you can use is you can remain in the same area with all of them spawning around, or you can, you know, do the up and down the mountain thing, or you can simply just find a nice piece of land and do the whole picnic reset technique. So just all the spawns around you reset again, since so many just spawn in the area. So throw out your Pokemon, put them back in, and just like that, all the spawns will just start to show up. And if you somehow see a red one, you should be good. Now you'll get like maybe one or two Mimikyu showing up here, but majority is going to be the Duskull. So you either do the picnic reset, or like I mentioned, you could just completely just climb up this mountain, make sure to look around. These are solo spawns. And when you spot the shiny, you should be good. Also, here are the evolution shinies for what it does look like. And just be aware that to get the third form, you're going to have to trade it with a Reaper Claw. I also just wanted to mention that you're only going to want to go up until a certain point because you'll get different ghost Pokemon spawns to show up right about here. Yep, this is when the Litwick start to spawn. So the higher up you go, then Litwicks will start to spawn with the Duskull. So it kind of becomes a dual hunt if you go further up past this area. So you pass this and it becomes much more of a dual hunt. So good luck Johnny hunting and finding your Duskull. And just like that, Johnny Duskull, baby. Nice and red. And you can see how it's completely different from the other ones in the rain. Here we go. Nice. That's why you should be subscribing to the channel. The next Pokemon we're going to be going for is Annihilate. Yep, you can get an Annihilate shiny with a ghost sandwich. And you have to go all the way up here on the map until you reach this place called the Gracious Stones, which is right to the east of uh, Paradise Barren. So when you come here, you're dead center. And yep, look around me. A bunch of Annihilate are out here just chilling in the wild. So um, yeah, just look at the amount of these on the screen. It's insane to see this many Annihilate just hanging out in the wild. You cannot find Annihilate roaming around like this in the base game for Scarlet and Violet. So just go around here. Uh, when you spot the little more of a bluish tone on them, you can go ahead and run up to that and catch that. So good luck to everyone trying to get your Annihilate. I, I know someone in the comments is definitely going to be able to grab this shiny and uh, you can stock up on a bunch of these for trade bait. So good luck, everyone. If you have happened to forget to catch your shiny Ghastly in Paldea in Scarlet and Violet, well, no worries. I got you covered. If you go to the Paradise Barrens all the way to the top left of the map, you're going to find just tons of Ghastly everywhere. And you're going to probably bump into one. Here is what the shiny looks like so you don't get it confused. With all the amounts of Ghastly spawning here, it should be easy to be able to tell the difference. Now, they all are single spawns, so just pay attention for that slightly different colored outline and you should be able to get it. Like I said, they are everywhere here. Not only are the Ghastlies in this area, but if you go all the way down to here in the Mosfell country, Influence, you should also be able to find them there, including Haunter. And I think sometimes you should be able to find a Gengar just hanging around as well. So keep that in mind. These are areas that are just full of Ghastlies everywhere. Oh, and there's the Gengar. Yep. So there is Gengars, there is Ghastlies, there is Haunters. So it's really up to you where you want to hunt these Ghastly and Haunters. But that's pretty much all I'm going to say for this one, as they are already in the previous game, but it's just so many in Kitakami. Now, if you come to the Timeless Woods during the day, you're you're going to be able to find our lovely grass ghost Pokemon Phantom right over here in its natural habitat. Now you also will bump into some Mimikyu here. It's kind of a dual hunt, but this is the best time to come over here because Litwicks really don't spawn. And there are a ton of Phantom families that do spawn. Uh, luckily, they have solo spawns and group spawns. So you'll be able to spot quite a few. Now, the good thing about Phantom is that its shiny is very, very different than its main color. And you should be able to easily identify it. It's actually one of my favorite ghost shinies because of the color, which is really awesome. So if you're looking to do a nice dual hunt with Phantom, this is the spot during the daytime. This force, like I said, can get very chaotic at nighttime. So just keep that in mind when you are coming here to hunt because Litwicks and everything starts to spawn here. So remember, this is the spot you want to be at during the daytime to easily hunt Phantoms. Now, at night, it's Evolution Trevorance also spawn. I'll show you how chaotic this can be at night, but daytime, dual hunt. Nighttime, it's like a free for all for ghost hunting. And don't forget to get its Evolution, you have to trade it. Now, there is some spots to also hunt. 
that isn't too crazy and it's going to be to the east of Masui Town along Revelers Road. Wherever there are Pokemon that spawn, basically the poltergeist are by the bamboo trees you also get phantoms that spawn around the area where you have poltergeists by these bamboo trees all the way to the east of masui town along the edges of revelers road wherever you're able to see it so you will get them it is kind of a dual hunt here now there is one little spot i did find where nothing else really interferes with it so let me head back on the road and show you that exact spot and it's going to be on the way just straight towards this area so these trees to the right is the only only spot I found where it's literally just phantom if you found any other better spots though please comment that down below and I can pin that directly to the video so you guys can see that but look at this it's only oh my god wait that it worked that I, <laughs> I gotta save I gotta save oh my gosh it worked it worked the solo spot worked wow yeah this was the solo spot where you don't have to really deal with anything else just go with the premiere ball here there we go caught it oh that's nice so like I was saying, uh, this spot, let me open my map. It's going to be right by this little bridge here, Revelers Road. So from town all the way up here. And you don't really get any poltergeist interfering with the phantoms in this area until you go to the north part. So right over here is when poltergeists are going to start spawning in. But otherwise, minus all that, this area, pretty good for just on the side for the solo phantom. So go ahead and get yourself one because I got myself one just now by being in the solo area. You could picnic spawn or just run away to despawn them out and come back to respawn them back in. So good luck hunting your phantom. The next Pokemon that we're going to be going for is Ghost type Oricorio, which you can find in Wisteria Pond. Now, Oricorio is not going to be new to anything in the game as its previous forms are in the base game. But if you just wanted to hunt this Oricorio on its own, it's pretty easy as they spawn right around this area. And as you can see on the screen, this is what the shiny sprite looks like. So it won't be hard to distinguish from all the other Oricorio that are spawning. I think it's just a really, really nice place that they have it. And what you can do uh, to make your life easier is go to Deli Bird Shop and use the other nectars that you can purchase from there to change the shiny one into the other typings. That way you can just focus on one shiny Oricorio hunt and actually get all the typings and forms just like that. So a cool trick that we can do to make this spawns a lot simpler and faster is just doing the picnic reset technique. So get your picnic out and as soon as the Pokemon come out, hit Y, immediately close it. And as soon as you hit done picnicking, you should get a bunch of Oricorios to start to spawn again. So just look around, look for that nice, very light blue colored one. If it doesn't spawn around the area, then just go ahead and reset again. So yeah, picnic technique, it helps. So good luck with this hunt. Now that you got all your ghost type shiny Pokemon, make sure to check out this video over here. And don't forget to check out the shiny playlist for the Teal Mask DLC.